hi thanks so much for joining me welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be doing something just a little bit different um, I usually am a traditional 12 by 12 scrapbooker and today I'm going to be making an eight and a half by 11 scrapbook page and what I was thinking is my daughter is going into high school this is going to be her freshman year and I'd really like to make her a scrapbook um, of her high school years and so that's what really gave me this idea and uh, the creative design team has put together this eight and a half by eleven uh, sketchbook that you can purchase as a digital download and it is fabulous I think they are one of the most creative um, group of ladies that um, I've ever came across and so I was really excited to purchase their sketchbook it is a digital download and so you receive an email and then you can either you know keep it um, online or you can print it I like to print it and then put it in these protective sleeves and then I put it in a binder and then when I'm ready to create I just pull out each page so let me show you the sketch that I'm gonna work with today so this is the sketch that I'm gonna work with and since this was a paid um, sketch I went ahead and cut um, covered up the measurements um, just just out of um, kindness for them since I did pay for that but um, I do want to rest assured that the measurements are all listed for each of their sketches but you can see here um, there's they used three four by six photos and that's what drew me to this sketch is because I have three four by six photos so let me bring those photos in oh my gosh I'm so excited to scrapbook these so this is a picture of my uh, daughter Tatum and this is one of her friends, Brady. They're both freshmen, and this summer um, they were invited to play along with the varsity girls uh, on the softball team. And so this was a really fun experience that I want to uh, document. My daughter Tatum is the pitcher, and um, she didn't get a lot of playing time, which is, is, is expected, but she did go in um, in one inning and she struck out all three batters and so I was so proud of her and so I'm so excited to scrapbook this and then here's another picture she looked over at me um, I don't know if she was looking at me but I saw her glancing over and you can just see in this photo she's just laughing and having such a good time and oh my gosh I'm just like I said I'm really excited to scrapbook these so this is gonna come together so quickly um, using using the sketch so let me go ahead and get started I'm gonna set the sketch off to the side but um, let's see so what it has is I'm going to just literally just bring these in I've cut and I've cut down an eight and a half by eleven uh, white daisy cardstock and then I've got this paper right here it's like the um, honey butter and I brought this paper in because it little it really reminds me of um, you know like the fencing right here. It looks kind of like the fence, and so then this page, this paper is going to go right here, and then this little black strip right here, and then this other paper that I used is this is just some leftover from I believe it was called the Hey Handsome. That paper is no longer available but um, I had some scraps and so it was just a little piece and so look this is how quickly this layout is coming together with the sketch and so let's bring our photos in here I really want to highlight um, her pitching because that's really what this layout is about and then Tatum and Brady and then this photo so I think I want my photos to go like that and then we're gonna do the fun part now of embellishing um, if you're not already a subscriber, um, if you would go ahead and subscribe to my channel, I am going to be doing a whole series on these 8.5 by 11 pages. So as more events come along um, during her high school years, I plan on doing a whole series and adding to this album. So um, you might want to go ahead and ring that bell so that you are notified each time that I add a new video. Um, I will still have all of my traditional 12 by 12 scrapbooks uh, scrapbook layout process videos but um, I will have a series a playlist of all of these eight and a half by 11s so let's go ahead 
and um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this adhered down off camera and then we will start the embellishing process. Okay, I have everything adhered down so we can start embellishing now. Now, with this being a softball layout, my original plan was to bring in this stamp set. It's a baseball with a heart, um, but this can obviously be changed out for a softball. And let me bring in the catalog really quick to show how you could easily repeat this same layout for any, um, any sport. So this is Close to My Heart's July to August 2023 catalog. And you can see here, uh, they have every sport um, they have each of these little stamp sets, they have volleyball, they've got soccer, they've got golf, they've got football, cheerleading, um, here's the basketball and the, the baseball or the softball. So you could easily repeat this. So my original plan was to use this um, softball, but I was digging through my stash and I had found um, this little, this little piece right here it was um, it was left over from another project and so I really think I want to add this on this layout so I'm going to save that softball and I'm, I'm definitely going to use it um, on another project but I really want to put this softball this time um, on this project and you can see from our sketch they had their clusters kind of up here um, in the upper left and then the bottom right hand side. So I'm really going to repeat that process. So I've got, I'm going to start with my softballs. And then um, one of my favorite things to do, they had tags in the sketch and I want to repeat that. This is close to my heart's thin cuts, the tags and tabs. So I've already went ahead and cut out a couple tags. So let me bring those in. So I have, um, I've used this same paper. You can see I just, I just flipped it over. And this paper, if I didn't mention, this is from the July and August catalog. This is the Mix Sense. Let me see if I can find that for you really quick and show that to you. Here they are. So these are the mix-ins, and you can see there's lots of um, pretty different papers here, but the ones that I'm using today are the honey butter. Okay, let me set this aside. So we've got the honey butter, and I've used the tags and tabs thin cuts, and I'm just going to kind of lift this up, and I'm gonna have to build this. I didn't leave myself a lot of room. I probably should have scooted this down. I'm just gonna build this under um, under the photos and then just something like this and then I've got my softball here and then you know what actually I think I'm gonna move this down um, just a little bit I didn't put a really strong adhesive on here I think I want to move this down so that I have enough room to tuck the tags behind the background and texture paper. So let me do that really quick. Okay, I got that all glued down. I got that all moved down and I think I like that better. So let me move this softball up there and I'm gonna tuck this softball in over here. And then we're gonna bring those tags back in and let me see if we can move these. And you know, I don't really need this whole um, this whole tag so let me let me cut that off here let me... okay and then I'm going to repeat those tags over on this bottom side and I don't need the whole tag so I'm gonna cut a little bit of that off and then we'll repeat that down here I'm gonna cut a little bit more Oops. cut a little bit more of this tag off we don't need just a little bit peeking through. All right, and 
And then I know that, um, let me bring back in the sketch. So on this sketch here, um, they have a title and then they're journaling. And so I think for my title, I wanna bring in this stamp set. This is called the Moments That Matter and I really like this Hello Summertime. And so let me get that mounted on a block. So the Hello Summertime, and I am going to use, I am going to bring in the little foam, and anytime your stamp is new, you just kind of want to rub that maybe on your arm, just kind of get a little bit of that factory off of there, and I even like to stamp it off on a piece of scratch paper just to make sure that it is stamping well. So. And before I stamp this directly on my layout, I think I wanna bring in a little bit of that honey butter. So let me grab the honey butter ink. Let me set this behind my page. And that just gives us a better impression. So let me grab that honey butter ink. I have my honey butter ink. And I'm just going to test this out to see what this is gonna look like. Yeah, I think I'm gonna like that. So I'm gonna put some ink on my brush and I think I'm gonna want this title about right there. So let me just put some ink down. I just kinda want this peeking through. So we'll put some ink back here. And let me just put that stamp over there to see if we got that. Maybe just a little bit more. Just to make that title stand out. I think that's gonna look nice. Okay, and now I've got my archival black ink. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp, get my stamp nice and inky. And I'm going to Give it a good test here on my scratch paper. And I like that, that's stamping very nice. So let me go ahead and get this inked up again. And I'm ready to stamp on my layout. So let me go ahead, oops, I had a little ink there. Let me make sure that's not on there. So let me go ahead and press. Just hold it down for a moment to let that ink soak in. And lift it off, perfect. That's gonna look very nice. So now I'll bring in my stamp chamois and I'll just clean off that stamp. I do wanna bring in some flowers. I like that in the in the design that they had some flowers. And so I think that that might liven it up. And so one of the stamp sets I wanna bring in, this is my go-to. You can see it's well left. And I usually keep my extras inside here. Um, so I've went ahead and cut these out. And I've used the Scarlet paper so let me go ahead and get this put together. And I wanna ink up the edges of each of these scarlet pieces. And so I'm just gonna use a finger dauber for this. So I'm just gonna use my finger dauber here and just put some ink on, on each of the edges just to give it a little extra dimension. And even maybe a little bit in the middle. I like that. And then, so I'm done with that ink. And then what I like to do is just, now I've got a tool that I actually could use on these, but you can also use your fingernail. And I just kind of go underneath the flower in each of the leaves and just kind of pull out and this just kind of roughs up those edges 
just to give it a little dimension. And that way when we put this flower down, it just doesn't look so flat. And then I wanna do that to the, each layer. So I'm gonna do it to this one, just to give it a little roughen it up. I'm just pulling these towards me. And then I'm gonna grab my, grab my glue. And I'm gonna just offset these, hold that down. And then I'm gonna take the center and then I'm gonna add the center to the flower here. And then, now I like to keep my, my pin inside my glue so that it doesn't dry out. So go ahead, oops, if I can see the center, go ahead and stick that back in there. All right, and then I can continue kind of roughing these edges up with my fingernail on the flower to give it what it needs here. Okay, so I think I wanna put a flower right here, but I think that center needs just a little something. So I'm gonna bring in my stickles. Now, this is the Christmas red. So let's see what this looks like. Let me grab a baby wipe. because I know I'm gonna get messy. And I'm actually gonna just, I'm actually just gonna dot, dab a little in the center. Oops, I don't want that on my layout. Dab a little in the center here. And then I'm just gonna use my finger and then just rub this around just in the center, just to give it a little shine. I don't know if the camera picks up the sparkle like it looks in person, but that really gives it just, let me see, let me hold that up. Can you see that shine that that gives that? Oh, I love that. So I gotta be careful because that's wet, but I think that that's gonna look awesome. All right, and then I will repeat that and make another one of those off camera. All right, so I have another one off camera and I've roughed this one up a bit as well. So I've got two flowers and I wanna put one up here. I haven't glued this softball down yet. And then one, this, this is still not dry, one over here. And you know, I know I've roughed this down, but I think I wanna kinda rough this going this direction, okay? Just have a little dimension. Now I wanna bring in some leaves. So I am gonna bring in this new set. Uh, this is the Sprigs and Leaves Thin Cut Set. I love this set. So I've went ahead and cut some of those out and let me bring those in. So I've cut out some in black. I just think that uh, that is a little bit non-traditional, but um, how cute would this be? Just, you know, um, it, it matches. And uh, maybe even put some overlapping onto the photo. I think that this is gonna look nice here. Put this up here. Here we go. This is really coming together. So you can see how we, how we just started with a sketch and then our layout is just really, really coming together. All right, um, let's see, what do I wanna do next? I was digging through my stash and I came across this stamp set. It's called Baseball and you can see it's really old. This is like old packaging. So let me show you the stamp set. Let me bring this out. This is called Baseball and what's what I really like about stamp sets is you can use them forever. I mean, I think I got this when my son was young and he's in his 20s now. But I want to bring in this uh, this word strike, uh, since the the layout really is about Tatum and her pitching. I think that this the word strike. Um, I think that that's perfect. So I went ahead and stamped that out, and then just cut it, and that's going to look perfect, kind of just down here. 
It's just going to add to add to these tags. So we'll put that there. And let's see. I've got another little I think this needs one more little leaf. We'll add that there. And then I do have some journaling. I went ahead and typed my journaling out. Now I just, let's see, what I like to do um, sometimes is just, I went back and I like to just go to my Facebook layout some, or my Facebook post and really just repeat some of the things that I've typed on Facebook. And that's exactly what I use as my journaling. So my journaling says, high school sports, Tatum's first game as a Monroe City Panther playing summer league with the Varsity Girls. She went in and pitched one inning and struck out all three batters. Way to go, T. So I just need to glue those down and then I think I'm happy with this layout. Now I do want to um, use some foam foam adhesive and pop dot these flowers up, but I think that this has really come together super easy um, based on the sketch that I use. So let me go ahead and get this, get my journaling glued down and um, we'll take, we'll come back and take a look at the layout. So hang tight. Okay, I really like the way this has turned out since I have everything glued down, but I think it's missing a few things. Uh, so I've got a couple options here. Um, I think it needs some, I either need some splatters or some dots or both. And so I think I wanna do some splatters. So let me grab a couple of my favorite splatter stamps. So let me get those real quick. Okay, this is one I like to use. It's a hoot card making. It's got this little bitty splatter stamp. So let me grab that out. And I've seen a lot of people do this where they grab the stamp and they don't necessarily put it on a block. They just stick it on their fingers and then um, place it on the layout. So this might be a little dangerous, but um, I'm gonna try it. So let me try it on scrap paper first. So I'm gonna stick it on my fingers and then do some little splatters. Oh my, I really like that. So it's gonna be subtle, but this allows you to get into like some little, just, you know, some smaller spaces that maybe you couldn't get in if you were splattering and, in, and had it on a stamp. And I get a little carried away, I think, with these, but can, I don't even know if you're picking that up on the camera. I like that. And that's just like the perfect little touch of it. Okay, so let me clean that. And then it still needs, it needs something else. I think it needs some dots. So let me grab, let me grab some dots. Now I was originally thinking some yellow dots and maybe I can mix a few. Um, so I grabbed the orange and yellow dots and I think it might need the stars. Um, I don't often use the stars so this would give me a great opportunity to use the stars and she is a star so I really like the darker color of the star so let me scatter you know just a few of those um, around in my clusters I usually like to do them in sets of three and so let me, let me do that and then this is my other cluster over here. And so let me grab three of these stars. And then we'll put one down there. Okay. 
Oops, I have one sticking to me. I think I really like the way that this layout turned out. If you like the way this has turned out and if you've enjoyed this video, please go ahead and hit that like button. And I look forward to the next crafting video together. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.